everybody. This is C.J. Wiley with more adventures on the road. I'm uh, up in the mountains in uh, West Virginia. Better look both ways before I go. But uh, yeah, I was just up at this little lodge getting some lunch. They have uh, some really good food here. I've been up at the uh, Strands pool room and uh, gave four days of lessons, trained about 12 people, played in a one-pocket tournament, and uh, fortunately uh, I got through that field, and and then the nine-ball tournament, uh, I ended up coming up short. My endurance let me down. Man, it's hard to stay around those places 12, 13 hours, and uh, I got to go to eight, and everybody's going to five and six, <laughs> and there's some really good players around here. So anyway, uh, I've really been trying to uh, pass on some of this new information. And it's not really new, it's just that I figured out something that, uh, that had been bothering me for a long time. When I played my best, my, uh, I cocked my wrist out and I got into a position that was coiled. And it produced a situation where I couldn't do anything but hit the ball straight. So, uh, you know, they say uh, the difference between an amateur and a professional is an amateur will practice till they can do it right, and a professional will practice it till they can't do it wrong. And at one time, I couldn't do it wrong. That's why my uh, consistency was so so good. I mean, uh, I would average about two hours in between. Uh, misses when I actually missed a ball. I don't count if I'm playing a tough shot and uh, playing safe at the same time. You know, the three-way shots where you're, uh, you're playing a tough shot, you're playing uh, defense, and you're playing position on the next ball all at the same time. And uh, I just want to get out here real quick and go over. There's a, uh, a dam here. It's raining, so I'll make this quick, but... <laughs> I want to show you uh, what this looks like because it's been raining quite a bit, so the uh, the dam will be flowing. Yeah, see they have a lake here and they control the water flow at this dam right here. And you can see the water rushing. I just came from over around that bend in the in the water or it turns into the lake, but, uh, but this is, uh, it's beautiful up here. Weather isn't real good for hiking. I wish it was. I'm going to come back here in the summer and, uh, you know, take advantage of, uh, they, they stock these rivers with trout. I talked to a guy that was involved with that. He said it was kind of secret, but I won't give any of the details, but they do uh, put a tremendous amount of trout and he knew like he knew when they were going to do it and I guess they don't let people know for some reason maybe uh, it gives the fishermen an unfair advantage or <laughs> I don't know I don't know that uh, that game but uh, <clears throat> so what I learned uh, that I've been teaching is a way to get your your hand wrist elbow and shoulder all aligned uh, perfectly for you and you know mine was uh, was perfectly straight my elbow and, and I was thinking that you know that was uh, that was what I needed to do but it just didn't feel right and if you notice a lot of these uh, players have their elbow inside the line so it's closer to their body and come to find out that's what I needed to do but I needed to have a way to get in that position every time because you can't just you know worry about your elbow or it'll mess you completely up so I learned a way to preset my wrist hand arm and uh, or elbow and an arm so that when I go down into that position to shoot the shot it just automatically gets in the right position and I finally figured out what I did years ago to enable myself to shoot that straight all the time. And uh, 
just like a lot of things, it went against logic to a certain degree, you know, and, and some of these things that I teach are kind of the opposite of what, uh, like the general public believes, you know, like, uh, you know, having a real loose grip and a level cue and, and uh, a long, smooth follow through and, um, you know, getting all the way down to where your chin's on the cue. That, all of that, uh, you can see, fluctuates with the top players. And the reason that most of them get all the way down to where their chin's on the cue is they see other great players do it, so they model it. But also, um, they start when they're young. Like, I started when I was seven years old, so you're not tall enough, really, to, uh, you know, to stand above the cue. But the owner of the pool room that I grew up in, Orrin Cleeton, it was Cleeton's pool room, made me stand on wooden Pepsi crates. They were like 16-ounce bottles, so these crates were, were fairly tall. And we'd drag the, the crates around and stand on them and, uh, and shoot when I was seven years old. And by the time I was nine, I could run a rack of uh, eight ball on a uh, nine-foot table. By the time I was uh, 12, or I won my first tournament when I was 12, but I think I was 13 when I broke and ran all 15 balls in order, in rotation order, on a nine-foot table. And that's still hard to this day. You got to be a pretty advanced player to do it. And I was doing that when I was 13, so I had the talent. But uh, but it's the fundamentals that I developed that are uh, they're different than what is commonly taught. But if you see after you take a lesson from me, and you see the other top players, you'll be able to see that they're doing what I'm talking about. It just it looks a little bit different because we all have different body styles, you know, heights and our arm length and all that stuff uh, contributes to to things looking different. But I'm looking forward to, to teaching this because uh, it's going to make a big difference. And it already has here uh, at Strand's Pool Room. I've got one guy, Ryan, that has really been working on what I showed him, and he's showing such great results. Because that's the key, you know, when I show somebody these top level fundamentals, I tell them, I said, listen, this isn't a one day deal where you're going to get it in one day. It takes two to three weeks. And the process of doing what I show you, I give you a reference for everything, a baseline for everything, whether it's the distance to the ball or, or the, uh, the different positions of the body, which are controlled by the foundation, which is the feet, everything that is involved, I give a reference for. So after you know, you're off practicing, you don't have me to, to oversee you, you can still figure it out. And the process of figuring it out is what works. I can't just explain it and you get it and just start doing it. It has to be done, uh, you know, with some diligence and perseverance. Everything in life that's worthwhile, you know, takes effort, takes work, you know, to, to achieve. And uh, it's unbelievable the hours and time that I've put into uh, to doing this myself, you know, I mean, I, it's, I, I couldn't even begin to count, you know, and uh, figuring out what these champion players were doing uh, helped my, my own game, and now it's really starting to help because uh, I'm putting those pieces together as far as uh, my elbow alignment. Like I said, it's been out of line all these years since I came back, and I knew something was off, but I just couldn't figure it out. So anyway... That's what will happen with you, too. you got to figure it out. But you also got to know what you're trying to figure out. And that's my job, is to give you uh, those uh, you know, details like the last videos I did about centering your chest on the line of the shot. Man, that's really important. Just like shooting a pistol. If somebody can shoot a pistol out of the center of their chest, then they can play pool like that and play pool a lot better. So anyway, this is C.J. Wiley in uh, Grafton, West Virginia. I'm going down to talk to uh, Scotty, the owner, and uh, he's, a, he's a hell of a guy. Great personality. Hospitality's been wonderful. And uh, everybody here, I've just enjoyed every minute of it. So until next time, this is C.J. Wiley. And remember, the game is the teacher.